Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to Straight Pot Chevy. So as you guys can tell by the title, by the thumbnail, we have some wheel spacers. There's only three here, but I actually have all four. One of them is actually on the truck already. So I got these from a guy that had them on a Toyota. And if you guys didn't know, six lug Toyota, Chevy, and I think Nissan all have the same six lug bolt pattern. So for the Chevy, it's six by 5.5. And I think Toyota goes by um, six by 139.7. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. This is what it looks like stock. So try to line it up with the fender. You can line the damn tire up with the fender. That's crazy. That's stock. And this one has the wheel spacer on it. Look at that. If I try to line it up, <laughs> look at that. Damn, these are 1.5. All right, you guys, this is what I was talking about. Um, I can't get my lug nuts tightened up all the way. These are just tightened up on my finger by doing that. And yeah, <laughs> it's uh, pretty well gapped out. So either I'm gonna have to figure out how to get these damn lug nuts tightened up. I don't think that they make anything small enough to fit inside of there. Or what I'm gonna have to do is probably see if I can't trade these for some Chevy wheel spacers, but I got this thing on here it's not moving all the lug nuts as you can tell they're all locked down <laughs> and that's because I took my four-way with the uh, three-fourths 19 millimeter right see how big and wide that sucker is I literally just put it in here push it up against the damn lug nut and then I just pushed it and tightened it at the same time all right, so I found something that works a little bit. So get you some needle nose pliers and there's like a gap in between this side and that side. Put your needle nose in there and then just twist the lug nut. I've already twisted mine, so yeah, but it'll tighten it up a little bit. I already got them all tightened down. Real quick, I just want to go ahead and throw a damn disclaimer in there. So that way, uh, if y'all try to do this at home, do it at your own risk. Uh, I'm not telling you guys how to install uh, wheel spacers. This is just how I'm installing my wheel spacers. I don't know what flat tap and piston lever has been up in here, but you gotta go. You gotta go. All right. Get it to fit. Boom. So it looks like the studs on the back might be a little bit longer than on the front. Make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. We got done putting it on. And I haven't looked at it yet, but we're gonna look at it at the same time, bro. You ready? Okay, then. Damn. Damn, son. She be poking out a lot. Sheesh. Look at this side, bro. Look at this side. Look at that poke. And you come over here. It's like, what happened, bro? It's flat. Look, when I was putting the jack on, I know it's a bad spot, but who cares? The jack was so close to the damn tire that it couldn't even rotate, really. And now, <laughs> now look at it. Look at that gap. All right, so now that it's on the ground and I'm looking at it, I mean, it kind of looks like, like a, I don't know, like a slightly lifted two-wheel drive muscle truck. I don't really know. It just looks like a big, beefy truck that's like too damn low to the ground. Damn, I walked past my truck and I smell that black ice. Look at that. I mean, the wheel is straight. And look how much it pokes out. The rear, you can't even really see the rear. Right here, you definitely can't see the rear. <laughs> but yeah, we got two more wheel spacers to install. And I'm probably just gonna like start the truck up, back it up, and like pull it forward. Just so that way everything settles. And I might go ahead and like tighten everything back down again. back it up I didn't say how far I was gonna back it up so yeah I heard like a little clunk so I don't know if 
something that needs to be tightened up all the way. I don't obviously want to back it all the way up there and, you know, the wheel potentially come off and be stuck in the middle of the damn road. But, yeah, I, don't, I think that clicking sound that I heard was them over there shooting. I am three lug nuts short for these right here that go to the wheel spacers. So I'm going to divide them up between these two right here. For once, my truck looks green because I got it on a wide angle. Here's a regular angle, and look at that blue truck. All right, so now I just go ahead and jack up your truck. It shouldn't take much in the rear, just because everything's right there. All right, now my wheel's loose. So the stupid thing about Virginia is, when you buy tags down here for something, uh, they don't go by your birthday. At least that's what I've been told. They go by the month that you bought your truck. And it ain't been no damn year since I've had this truck. I bought this truck six months ago and I went and got tags for my truck and look at this they expire in January guess what this is January it doesn't say uh, what day it just says the damn month so that's retarded don't move to Virginia Virginia sucks it's not for lovers it's for losers loser justice system all right so go ahead and pop off your dust cap and figure out which one it's gonna fit your lug nuts, 22 mil. So just crank it loose. Damn, she's heavy. So now grab your wheel spacer and just, just like that, brother. Grab all six of your lug nuts and just. Now go ahead and put your damn wheel on. This is the fun part because this thing is heavy as hell. <sighs> Quit laughing at me. All right, we have exactly 10 lug nuts left, so this one's getting five, and the one up front's getting five. And like always, now put your cap on. Done. Jack the truck up. Take the dust cap off. Jack the truck up to the wheel moves. Move the wheel a little bit, good. And take those lug nuts off. Oh, and the wheel. All right, and evacuate everybody that was left behind in the in the wheels. Yeah. All right, now go ahead and throw on your wheel spacer. And just like that, we are officially done. And damn, that's what it looks like, boys. Look at the poke on that chick, bruh. Heck, yeah. All right, so for anybody wondering, um, I still haven't put my carpet in yet because I still haven't gotten to um, sand down my floor. So I will be sanding down my floor. Uh, I'm thinking about working on a little bit of it today. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to film. I'm just going to try to knock down all this rust right here that I possibly can. And yeah, we're going to uh, gonna see if we can't get that down to bare metal. But yeah, I'm also going to be uh, bed lining the entire floor. I have a... a video on my main channel where I was cleaning the carpet. The video is already up. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to both my channels, German Muscle. This is how you spell it. But yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big old fat thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. Jesus said, go preach the gospel to all creation. Souls are going to go to hell if we don't spread the gospel. You sharing this video can literally get the gospel to somebody and save their soul from eternal damnation. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So right now I offer to you the free gift of salvation. Believe in your heart and pray this prayer out loud right now with me if you want salvation. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died for me on the cross and rose from the dead three days later.
If you prayed that prayer, comment saved. Use this sound. Make your own video. Make the gospel go viral.